Hello, welcome to the Pets Paws Learn Don't Return series. We're interviewing a Doberman Pinscher breeder of 20 plus years. Please like and subscribe, also share. Now let's get into it. Now our special guest Janet's gonna talk about the Doberman Pinscher's history, the country of origin, the height and weight, and then the life expectancy. The breed was developed by a gentleman that was a tax collector. He developed the breed to be his personal protection animal. It's gonna be on the test. People didn't like him. In the early 1900s, he brought over the dogs for AKC to look okay. at. Yes, he brought okay. them over from Germany. And um, at first, AKC said no. Uh, they didn't want to accept the breed. The breed was a little too aggressive, a little too sharp. So he took the dogs back to Germany and bred in the Greyhound. And I believe he bred in Weimaraner. They then brought the dogs over. We have a um, foundation, American Doberman Pinscher Education Foundation. They have a website. Um, they talk about the history of the Doberman, where they came from, where how they were developed year by year, how the standard was written originally. The Doberman's been around just about a hundred years. The Dobermans are absolutely one of the smartest dogs. That's going to be on the test. They are, they are developed to be a personal protection animal. They did to protect um, Mr. Doberman. His last name was Doberman. Um, Louis Doberman um, and then his son, Air Doberman. Um, these dogs were developed to do a job. The AKC confirmation is actually the overall structure of the dog, how the dog is put together, the bones, the angles. Yes, we actually have 45 and 95 degree angles on wow. our dogs. The dogs um, are measured by height. Um, the height should not be any taller than they are long. The Dobermans are a, supposed to be a medium-sized breed, square in structure. Um, some females can be 10% longer in body than height. You just want to give a little more room for the carriage of puppies. They're right. supposed to be extremely athletic. In judging the Dobermans, the judges walked, watch them do a single track which is where the front foot is picked up the hind foot falls into that spot they were developed to keep interesting up with a horse but under when the judges are looking at them they're watching how the dog single tracks when they trot because they need to cover a lot of ground with very little exertion we talk about the life expectancy of the dobermans the dobermans some can live to be very old 10 years 13 13 14 wow um, I do have some people that I do know that have had them 14. My experience, the oldest Doberman that I've had home has been 13. Let's cover the Doberman's overall health, the barking level, and then the temperament and personality. Health of the Doberman's is key. It is anybody who's considering getting a Doberman has to know what they're getting into. It was the dilated cardiomyopathy. It is the number one killer of our breed. It is higher than cancer. I've read statistics where they say 70% of the Dobermans on the planet won't see their seventh birthday. There's so many issues that they do have. What would be the average expectancy that? Seven to 10. Seven to 10, okay. Seven to 10. I tell people if you get a 10 year old Doberman, you're on borrowed time. I'm trying to yeah. do what I can do. Um, I work with the universities. There's several of them across the country that I work with. Want to make sure that I'm doing the best I can do. Can I stop it? No. We have dogs that are what they call homozygous. Be homozygous DCM1 and 2 and live to be 10, 12, 13 years old. Necessarily have to kill them even though they have the genetic marker. The cancer, there's a, there's a high propensity of cancer in the breed. We try to use the Doberman Pinscher Club of America, when we when our dogs get to be 10 years old, we get a longevity certificate. We use that information when we're breeding. We try to find the females that have the the LC certificates behind them, not necessarily their parents, but their grandparents, their great grandparents. Mm -hmm. The the health, again, they do have a lot of health issues. Um, finding people who are 
really doing the health testing is key. They're showing, they're supporting this, the science behind it sure. by doing the health testing. Right. What about like energy and, and, and barking and, and that? <laughs> so, um, the Dobermans are very high energy. It's gonna be on the test. Again, like any child, you if you look at these puppies, you're bringing up a puppy. It's just like a child. You let them run outside and they go, they go do a sprint across the yard. They go out and play. It's what I call blow off steam. They come in the house, they get their bellies full. They curl up on a warm blanket and they go to yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah. Do they do zoomies? They do zoomies. They can be very noisy. They have high energy. They can be very, very destructive. It's going to be on the test. Very destructive in your home. Um, they need to have an environment where they can go blow, just go blow off steam. They just need to go decompress, run around, have somebody go out, throw a ball. It's not necessarily put them on a leash and take them for that 20 minute walk. That walk is good, it's training. It's sit down, stay, come, heal. That's all the things that you must train your dog to do. But your dog also needs to have the ability for you to say, hey, let's go run. A park. Exactly. If you're thinking in your mind, I'm going to go buy a Doberman and I own that dog. Forget it. Bring that dog home in your truck. That's his truck. You bring that Doberman into your home. He owns your home. It's his. His well, eyes, it's his. In his eyes, this belongs to him. You just pay the bills. That's all you're right. doing. And it's, it's very true. These they own you. They own your children. They they guard. It's gonna be absolutely. On the yeah. Comes. He owns it. He owns it. He owns it. He owns she it. She owns it. He owns it. Mm -hmm. Um, somebody asked me about the Doberman. How much personal space do they need? None. Zero. Not a. You, you will. Ne you get a Doberman. You take him home, and you never use the bathroom by yourself again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, and that's sure. literally. I, I've come out of the shower and had three of them in the bathroom. <laughs> waiting. Uh, yeah, they're waiting. What for took you so what, long? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, they, the Dobermans are, I, I, I cannot emphasize enough how much they need to see you to protect you. My dog has anxiety. Why does your dog have anxiety? Well, I put him in his crate and I try to go, no, let yeah. your dog be behind you. Right. Let him follow you. Let him be part of your world. Now, do you have a fence or do you use invisible fence or how, do, how does that work for, you can, for the audience? Um, if you do not have a fence yard, I highly recommend the invisible fence. It works very well. Do not leave your dog unattended. Um, they do have GPS fencing now, which is very awesome. Okay. You can actually put a marker at your property lines. So your dog wears a collar. As you get to the marker, you train your dog. The sound on the collar is beeping. Your dog is now trained to go to that marker and then come back. I found that those work very well nice. as well. Um, again, That's never be on the test. Right. Um, now let's cover the Doberman Pinchers shedding, grooming, and trainability. I call them wash and wear dogs. Okay. People are like, what does that mean? If your Doberman goes outside, they get dirty. You take a hand That's towel. It's going to be on the test. And you dip it in some warm water. I'm off. They're clean. That's pretty easy. <laughs> I mean, for a lot of the challenges, exactly. there are some easy benefits to, to, to the dog. Wash and wear. People will say, my dog stinks. I'll say, clean their ears. Get a little, take your dog outside, get a little ear cleaner. Squirt a little, don't make it cold. Warm up your ear cleaner. <laughs> right, right, right. A little cotton ball, make it maybe, nice for him. you know, and let him shake his head. Nine times out of 10, when you have a smelly dog, it's their ears. It's the buildup of the dirt because they can't clean their ears. Um, the bathing them is you put them in the shower, you rinse them off, a little baby shampoo. Um, less is more, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't really do a whole lot of bathing with my dogs. I do, if they get dirty, I might take some apple cider vinegar and water and give them a little spritz and a wipe down. Um, I don't have a problem with fleas. The flea treatment works great. Okay. They just, you just dab it on the back of their neck, whatever your vet recommends. The, there's very little hair 
Well, we find hair in the vacuum cleaner and in the dryer lint. That's where the dog hair is. Find dog hair on your clothes, nice. which is really nice. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> um, it's, the grooming is very, very limited. You can take a soft brush, brush your right. dog. Toenails. If you can hear your dog walk across the floor, their toenails are too long. Okay. And you can use the guillotine style clipper and clip their toenails. You can use a Dremel. There's multitudes. You can take your dog to the groomer, spend $5. The groomer will take your dog right. in there, trim their toenails off, sure. no problem. But if you can hear them, they're too long. Okay. Trainability on the Dobermans is once they understand what you're asking. One, and that's our issue. Be smarter than the dog because we have to be able to teach them what we need them to learn. Once they learn what we are asking of them, they will give it to us 110%, 110% of the time. They are sensitive. They, they get their feelings hurt. Oh, really? Dobermans are sensitive. Are they? If you tell your Doberman, bad dog, you have crushed him. It's gonna be the on things the that you can do when they're little, teaching them to develop their skills as they grow. Um, Are they always learning, or always. or is it like nope. up to three years old and then they're good? No. Or um, your Doberman is like I I tell people it's like living with a five year old child. And the more you do with your dogs, the more time you have with your dogs the better your dog is. That's gonna be on the They task. do like companionship. So if you get a puppy, and let's say you're at home, COVID, a lot of people got puppies, COVID, and now they're going back to work. People are now buying that second dog. Their dog is trained, but they're gone for six hours, seven hours a day. Yes. They're working. So get your dog a friend. I don't suggest letting your friends run your house when you're not home. <laughs> <laughs> Under clear, okay, you see what I'm clear, saying? Yes. But you have that per you have that friend for your dog. So when you do get home, you open the door. They're now playing in the backyard. You have a few minutes to decompress. Your dog is now, let's say they've been in a crate for the day because you've had to go to work. Your dog needs to be safe. Their safety is key. So now your dog is in their mind, in their crate for the day. You're at work, you're in your mind. You both need to decompress. Thanks, Janet. And now let's see how you did with nine test questions. What were Doberman Pinchers designed for? Doberman Pinchers were designed by Carl Frederick Louis Doberman, a German tax collector for protection. Are Doberman Pinchers smart? Top five smartest dog. Do not ask me how they measure that. Are Doberman Pinchers high energy? Yes, Doberman Pinchers very high energy, but senior dogs are much less active. Can Doberman Pinchers be destructive? Yes, they do need daily exercising both on and off leash to blow off steam. What is the job of the Doberman Pincher? Doberman Pinchers are guard dogs. Should you leave your Doberman Pincher unattended? No, you should not leave your Doberman Pincher unattended since they are looking to you for instruction and keeping them safe from harm. How can you wash a Doberman Pincher? You can wash a Doberman Pincher with a hand towel and warm water. Uh, this will be expanded on in part two. Are Doberman Pinchers sensitive? Yes, they are very sensitive dogs. They try to please their pet parents. Do Doberman Pinchers get better with age? Yes, the more they get in tune with the pet parent, the better dog they become. Did you get 100%? Congratulations. Don't forget to leave your comments down below, like and share the video. Subscribe, part two is coming out soon. Underneath here, click on the more and topics that were discussed are also in there. I'll see you in part two.